Good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tokyo. My name is T. This is a kind of a late unboxing. It's not too late, but I just got this package a few minutes ago. Just took my shower, fresh out of the shower, feeling nice and clean in my Jimmy Jam. Sorry, my clothes are ugly right now. Still sick, got the sinus infection going on, had some dentist issues before. So this has been a really, just a kind of a bad week for my body. It's kind of breaking down little by little as death slowly overtakes me. But today we have an unboxing. This is from our good friends at Zipline Strings. So you guys know I have been part of the Zipline Strings family for a while now. Love Jeremy, love his family. They're so super cool. It's really nice how it's like a family operated kind of thing going on. And you guys probably also know that he recently with Unspoken Yo-Yo, is it Unspoken Yo-Yo Project? Unspoken Yo-Yos? Anyway, Unspoken and Zipline Strings did a collaboration, the Honey Badger, which I think I have, yeah, there it is, which I have here. This is my first run uh, Honey Badger in a clear color, really nice. Really love this Yo-Yo. It's on a little bit of feeling on the smaller side. It's got a really nice sharp uh, matador spike there. I've used it a lot. This one is well used. It's got a couple dings on it somewhere, but still plays great. But we're talking today about one of the new Honey Badgers that was released. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box and show you guys what is full of this box of goodies. Because if I know Jeremy, he always sends way more than he needs to to me. So let's get into what, what's in the box. Okay, so we've got the Honey Badger here for reference. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, oh, there's a lot of paper. Of course, we got looks. We got some little card that says, "Thanks so much. Thanks so much for being the best homie ever. We can't thank you enough for all your love, support, and for your friendship. We hope you and the entire family have a wonderful Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year with all the parks." I don't know if I've said this before, and I really feel like I should say it. If I didn't say it before, I'm saying it again. I love that Addison and Kaylee's signatures are just improving little by little. Like it's so cool to see their growth. You know, just as as people, and I don't know, being a father, it's, I find that really exciting. So kind, as always. Back to the box. Oh, oh boy. All right. So much going on here. Oh, this is adorable. So this is an ornament and a string holder. This is so, so cute. I had saw these in the shop before. This is adorable. Oh, wow. I didn't know anything about these. <gasps> You know what's funny is I was just going through some old papers and I found stickers that I wanted to make for Tokyo Yo, and I could never get my printer to work. But these are really cool. And of course, I love the zip. I love this minimal zip line design. This is so cool. I don't know where to put these. Maybe on my iPad. We've got zip line classic here. But I love, 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 love these. These are really cool. Especially, oh, these are both really nice. Okay, let's get into the box here. So we've got, we've got a string pick. These are really handy. I have one of these in my wallet at all times. They're useful for getting out your snots and making, snots, <laughs> useful for getting out your knots and not scratching your anno. Got a shirt in here. I've got so many shirts now. This is the, like a, a lightish blue, almost like a, I guess it's like a gray. And it's got the new minimalist design, sort of the inverted color. Love that. Oh my god, uh, we've got, these are performance regular, some more performance regular, we've got the signature plus of my colors, that's a more blue, I don't, there we go, it's not showing up very blue before, and the red, the Shido Baby, wow, oh my god, these are, oh these are the executive class, Stranger Strings as well. So cool. I think these are smoothies. I think some, there's some nylon in there. These are full on nylon. Skyline 3. Oh, what do you think of that logo? That's awesome, isn't it? Love it. Oh my god. These are like so many smoothies in here. I love this logo here. It's so cute. Like a mix of all the colors. I just love this because I love smoothies. It's one of my favorites. And it's nice to have all the greens and stuff in here too. The purple and pink. Oh, I love it. I keep saying love it over and over. Then we've got some more Stranger Strings in here. These are a great color. I love these, like kind of lighter blue. They're showing up a little bit dark in the video, but they're lighter than this. Last but not least, we have the Unspoken Yo-Yos. And, God, I'm not even in frame. 
And last but not least, we've got the unspoken and zipline honey badger, but this is not your ordinary honey badger. No, no, no. This is an upgraded design. Where should I open it from here, I guess? This is an, oh no, I should open it from the top, right? I'm not sure what we're supposed to do from there. Wait, how, what? How do I open that? I'm just a dummy. I think is you're supposed to open it from one side. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to open it from the bottom and mess that up. So we've got honey badger. Ooh, look at that nice pin. Oh my god. So strings in here. I think he mentioned that the string is, goes with it particularly well. The sticker in here is honey badger. Well, so as you guys can see, the honey badger is seven zero six eight beta, beta. Uh, V1, yeah, so that's 5, 2019, zipline unspoken. Oh, look at this color. I think you said it's like Pantone Commander or something like that. It's in this really, really dark navy green, this olive green. Olive green is my absolute favorite green. So like next to pink, this is my favorite color. And I've never seen a yo-yo in this color. I'm sure there are, but I've never seen it. And we can see like the differences and similarities here. So you can see, I feel like the rims... I think, I, I don't know, is the diameter a little bit? No, it's pretty much the same. Uh, that spike feels pretty pronounced. It feels a lot, I don't know, it feels sharper than the original Honey Badger. As far as their width, it looks like, I don't know, it could be wrong. I think they're pretty much the same. So I think the big difference here is that it's 7068, and this one is around like 64, 65, I'm pretty sure, and this one is like right around 63, just under 63. So like that is my wheelhouse right now, like 60 to 63 is my my preference. Like I've got, you know, hurt shoulder, hurt elbow, hurt back, and so like throwing heavy stuff is just not easy for me to do anymore. So stuff around like 60 to 63 grams is perfect. This thing is, is, it's just beautiful. I love this color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on the string he sent in the box here. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and I'll tell you guys what I think of the Honey Badger 7068. All right, here we are with the Honey Badger. First throw. Oh, absolutely butter smooth. Actually, the honey badger is the first yo-yo I learned regens on, so this still has that really nice feeling. Definitely feels a lot lighter to me, at least, than the original honey badger. Like, I can feel that rim weight, but I think the 7068 really helps balance it out. these days. I'm just too slow. Very grippy response. I really like that. And because of the smoothness, grinds are so, so easy. Like really nice. They were nice on the original Honey Badger, but also the finish is a little bit more satiny. So that really helps in that department too. God, these Lemon Island strings are so whippy. I can never get my hooks to land. There we go. And Jeremy did tell me these pads were a little grippy, but I'm not really feeling a problem. Whoops, no problem, especially with that string. Yep. Nice dimensions on this, so I don't feel like it's really gonna be difficult to hit anything. Yeah, this thing's really fun. I do feel like it's definitely an improvement on the original. Like the 6061 has some really nice balance to it. It's, um, uh, you know, hand friendly. It's not too big. It's not like a super powerhouse yo-yo that's uncomfortable to throw. 
and I feel like this improves on in a lot of ways. The colors are really good, the material is really nice, the 7068. Very nicely balanced. Still regens like a dream. <clears throat> this finger spin. The original has a matador spike. This does as well, as I mentioned. The engravings don't get in the way at all. Also, you can do matador style tricks if you so desire. And like I said, I do feel like the spike on this one is a lot more, I don't know if it's sharper, but it feels like it's a little bit bigger or taller or something. It feels like it's much easier to access. This is just me being bad at yo-yo today. It's not the owner's fault. Hmm. Yeah, this thing's a lot of fun. Can I land it? Can I land it? Oh, no. Nope. I'm a little cramped in here, but I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be landing the yo-yo. I just take him up. Yep, I did. Okay, that's a perfect time to stop. So in conclusion, I really, really like the Honey Badger 7068. It's, it's just really, really pleasant. The original Honey Badger, the 6061 V1 version, because I know there's a V... <laughs> the original 6061 version, because I know there's a V2. I haven't got my hands on that yet, so I have no idea what that's like. But definitely this one feels like the weight is really nicely balanced. I know the shape and stuff seems almost identical. But like I said, I do feel like the spike is different. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I love the way the engravings are put on. The original is unengraved. I think the V2 is as well. Maybe this one will be as well. The finish is just really, really perfect. This satiny finish, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, I This is my favorite kind of finish, even more than like a lot of CLYWs. They tend to be a little bit more matte than this, but I feel like this is like the perfect amount of matte and glass put together. No dryness at all. Even in the winter, you know, it feels really nice and smooth, even when your hands are super dry. I tend to like have my yo-yos around me all the time and sometimes you know when I'm just distracted or bored or trying to think of something I will just have a yo-yo in my hand and like kind of like a worry stone I guess or worry, worry beads whatever those are called and I feel like this is what a really nice one to have around because it just has this really great hand feel even with you not playing with it didn't mention it but there's a thumb grind lip in there so I should probably have tried that but oh well but I guess if you're in the market for a honey badger the differences between the two, I would say, like the original Honey Badger has, you know, some people said it wasn't that stable or not that powerful. In my opinion, in my case, I didn't feel that at all. I felt like it was a really, you know, it kind of nailed everything it needed to nail. I do feel like the new one has a bit lighter of a feel. It's only 63 grams, but I think the original was a little bit more than that. This one tops out, I believe, at 63, which is like right in the perfect weight for me right now. As I mentioned, like I have a bad shoulder, bad elbow it hurts to throw th stuff that's heavy so it's nice to have something that's a little bit more pleasant i know the v2 honey badger is putting more weight in the rims and i think it's supposed to be like a little bit chunkier more powerful feeling which is definitely not the direction that i like to go with yo-yos i definitely like them to be lighter more fun because i just i'm never going to perform i don't care about competitions you know 90 percent or more of the 90 percent of yo-yo players are not competition people so it's like, it always, I, I always kind of think it's funny when people are like, it's not powerful enough, it's not stable enough. It's like, well, it's not a competition yo-yo. I, I really don't like competition yo-yo. I think that's a silly phrase. Anyway, that was a bit of a rant, but I do like yo-yos that are not afraid to just be like, look, this is supposed to be fun and comfortable. It doesn't have to, be, not everything has to be a dropner. You know, it's just, I think it's nice to kind of lay back have a yo-yo that's comfortable, that's fun, that feels good to play. And, you know, I feel like this is, I really feel like with this one, Jeremy went like in my direction for a yo-yo, which is, you know, I'm not that good or anything like that. But I, what I mean by that is like he, I think he was thinking of the people who prefer the lighter, those funner yo-yos that don't need the super overdrive F1 jet engine yo-yos that some people think that they need. Yeah, so I really, really like it. I would say, in my personal opinion, I would definitely get the 7068 over the the other versions. I tend to like the more exotic metal yo-yos better and because the, the weight is distributed more carefully and more comfortably. Not to say that the V1 or V2 of the 6061 Honey Badger is not worth getting. It's more just a question of preference. I think those are probably going to be a little bit more heavy, a little bit more um, rim weighted than I am comfortable with. And I feel like this one kind of splits the difference. It's still got the Honey Badger feeling that you know and love, 
but it's got this upgraded weight that lets them put the weight distribution more carefully, which in my opinion makes for a better and more fun yo-yo all in all. But your results may vary, so kind of look at the both of them, check the specs and see, you know, and you can even ask Jeremy, he could tell you much better than I could. But, you know, you got to see which one's right for you. Do you prefer something a little bit more heavy and rim weighted and a little more powerful, maybe a little more stable? Or do you prefer something a little bit funner, softer, lighter with a, you know, more, with a more angle towards having a good time? And for me, that's this one. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And thanks again so much to Jeremy and his family. They are the, the absolute best, as I say, every video. It's so awesome that I'm able to be part of this family that's doing stuff. And it's been really fun to see you know, I, I feel like I kind of hopped on the bandwagon early enough <laughs> with Zipline. Like, I really am happy that I was there when it was a little bit smaller and a little bit more indie. I mean, all yo-yo companies are indie, but you know what I mean? Like, now Zipline is a company that's, you know, talked about in every string conversation. And, you know, when back in the day, you know, it was just all kitty string. It was all polyester. And I feel like, did I just say back in the day? So I'm really just glad that, like, the boutique strings market took off is he makes something for everyone it's not just he's not just making really fancy string that's super expensive that only a few people are going to like you know he has those if you want them but he also has like nicer and nicer strings that aren't so expensive and then he has like the general polyester and having you know working so closely with his team always asking questions he's always checking like logo designs and different things and asking us about yo-yo design or string color you know he's just he's very involved with his team and it's for me that's a great example of what a company should do when it has a team of players is it, it that business or that that company should you know make sure that it knows why it brought people on board and then really get their feedback their opinions and I, you know it's just it's a perfect back and forth I, I really enjoy it so it's it's really exciting to just be part of that so thank you again jeremy and family you guys are the best Thank you so much for watching. Take care, have a nice night, and sayonara.